Well, I'm Ian M. And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Three Quick Questions with Ian M. And I'm here with a band that uh, you guys, if you live in the Inland Empire, you've heard of. And I know that for sure because these guys have been in all the papers. These guys have played all the venues. And let me introduce them to you. Can I have you say your names and uh, what, you, what you do in the band? Uh, my name is Mike B. Minor, and I uh, play guitar for 100. I'm Jimmy, and I play keyboards, and I do some stuff on the mic on the MC. I'm Eric. Do some stuff in the band. <laughs> Just some stuff. You do some stuff in the band. If you come see him, you'll be seeing him do some stuff. <laughs> uh, I'm the other Mike, and uh, I play drums. I'm Jules, and uh, I play the bass. I'm Jay Boogie, IMC. And together, as he said, they are 100 proof. 100 proof. 100 yes, proof. Yes, sir. Already messed up their name. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Seems having Never. too much of a good time tonight, man. That's all. Let me say that again. 100 proof. You guys have probably heard of them. If you haven't, you will. And I know that for sure because this is a band that uh, once you see, you're hooked. And... Uh, I cannot say enough of these guys. I saw them a couple uh, couple weeks ago myself, and as you can tell, I liked them so much. They are here. I had to have them on my show. And uh, I want to thank you guys for some great music. Uh, you guys have some of the uh, best fans that I have seen, some of the better looking fans that I have seen. And uh, that is a sign of you guys being a great band, having such loyal fans. Uh, you can uh, you could tell that this band has uh, really uh, made a name for themselves already in the Inland, Inland Empire. And if you're living outside of California, that's San Bernardino area. That's the 909. The 909. 909. But now that I'm done kind of making a fool out of myself, let me ask them to get to the reason why we're here. And the first question is 100 proof. How did 100 proof? come to be 100 proof we uh we started off as a, a bunch of dudes looking to get together and jam uh you know we started building sounds getting things organized um you know a, as you guys can see if you saw the show you know we have a, a variety of music we have you know famous james that that not only spits on the mic he plays the keys you know plays harmonica i mean it's pretty much a jack of all trades we got Jay Boogie right here that that steps up and tears the mic up, you know. It, it, you know we got drum drum end, low end, rhythm section right here. I mean, we came together because we were meant to play together, you know. As a band, uh, we started working out songs. You know, we were making songs in a hip hop way at first, and uh, and and things started working out the right way, you know. Um, Jimmy, uh, you know, I mean, wh what do you think about this, dude? Oh, I think it's just it's just all, all natural. Obviously, at first there were a few of us, and and uh, we were around for a little while, just hanging out in the garage, uh, you know, just going off some hip hop beats, turning into live rock music, wanting to make it like rock and hip hop, kind of bring two different groups together at, at one venue and stuff like that. And um, the one thing we were missing was a bass player, and fortunately I uh, ran into this guy Julian right here, Jules, and um, <laughs> he he just he kills it on the bass, and so once. Once he joined the group, it was pretty much said and done. You know, 100 proof was complete and stuff like that. And so, Jay, you, know. you got something to say about this? Uh, I think you guys have said it all. I, I think one thing that we do have is uh, organic sound. Um, I, I think that comes from guys having a, a background in, in different types of music, especially most of these guys. Huh? I was riding with this guy the other day, and he went from what were you playing at? Some Muddy Waters? And <laughs> then he went to some, what was after that? Some Tupac? In so so it's, yeah. it, it's a vast, you know, vast realm of, of music. Uh, and all these influences put together uh, kind of bring that sound together. That's one thing that really helps define us as a band is the fact that we can bounce off of one. I mean, this evening we had a, a, a MC come up that we've never, ever done anything with. And to be able to, to rock the joint like that and do our job and, and let the crowd feel what we're doing, it's it's a great feeling, you know? It's and a really good feeling. They say they brought an MC up for the first time. You wouldn't even know that it was the first time these guys are tight. They nailed it. They uh, Thank you. 
they got the crowd rocking. If you guys come to a 100 proof show and you sit on your ass, something is wrong with you, not this band. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, get off your seat, get on your feet. Get off your seat, get on your feet. This band has a five song uh, demo CD out that uh, I'm addicted to. Uh, it's one of those CDs that's in, the ro in my rotation that whenever I'm pissed off, happy, any mood I'm in, I put that sucker in and I get in a happy mood, an even better mood, a rocking mood, and you just want to go and see these guys because their CD is just so great. And uh, they have another CD coming out. You guys are in the studio, uh, but I'll ask you about that uh, in a little bit. But one thing I did want to ask you since uh, you brought it up and riding with you and the Jay-Z and Muddy Waters, which uh, anyone that can play those in a row, I know respects music and the reason why these guys are so good is not only the respect that they have for their music, is the respect they have for others, mu other music. And once a band has that respect for music, it just helps make their music that much better because most bands, whatever happened in the past, any kind of music, they don't care, it's just their band and they wanna make their own sound. But this is a band that takes yesterday's music and listens to it and blends it into their music and makes, like you said, a nice organic sound that will rock your, your world. But uh, after that uh, little uh, tirade, <laughs> what are your influences uh, that you guys all bring into the band? Uh, you mean as far as like creative writing and stuff like that goes? Well, or? writing, what you guys listen to, the you guys uh, take samples different of. Different styles. Or, yeah. And what we all listen to is we all probably listen to a bunch of different stuff. We're I mean, all separate in, in, in you know, music. Uh, yeah, we don't, we don't, we're not like other groups that just kind of all listen to rock or they all listen to rap or they all listen to blues or... I mean, there, it's it's everywhere. It's everywhere. The other day, uh, I had this this discussion with with Jay Boogie, and and he said, Eric, you know, what what do you think would be the top three bands of every member in the band? And for him, I was able to name his. For him, I'm able to name his. For him, I'm able to name his. For Gerald, for Jay Boogie, I'm able to name his. But for Julian and Mike P, I'm not able to name theirs. So that that'd be kind of cool if we can hear their their top, you know, their top influences. In music, uh, you, you know. know influence for me they, they don't even sound like they touch the band that, I, that I'm playing with now I mean I like old stuff like Suicidal Tendencies I was really into those guys back in the day and uh, Smithereens I, and you know I like guys like that because they don't sound like anybody else great you know, bands when you, when, you oh, listen, yeah. when you listen to those bands you know who they are and uh, so when I write music with these guys that's the kind of stuff I want to play I want to play stuff that when people hear it they, they know who we are you know they don't have to guess it I would like to say what, when Julian joined our band, he, he really dove into a, a, a big pile of spaghetti. I mean, he, he had no clue where we were going as a band, what, you know, what we were doing as a band. I mean, as a band, we were so dysfunctional. You know, we had no, no direct sound. We had no time coordinates at all. I mean, you just you know, enjoyed each we'd have one guy show up at four, one guy show up at six, one guy show up at nine. You know, and Julian's thinking, you guys really work like this. And I mean, for, you know, for Julian to stick this out and, and go through what he's gone through within this band, I, I give him a lot of credit for it. You know, it, it, we've been a major pain in his ass. And, uh, you know, same with him for us. But, <laughs> but you know, we, we, you know we, we, we respect everything that he does as far as the music and, and everything that he's bringing to this band. You know, a lot of these songs we wouldn't have right now if Julian didn't come in with this bass this bass ideal and you know his his form of writing Style. music you know exactly you know what's your main band dude what's your main uh, band? there's there's a lot of influences in my you know musical life <laughs> so to speak but um i think most influential in the last 10 years have probably been of course incubus rage um but i, I like i like everything from from dre to pop to classical music i mean it's Ask me a song, and I'll probably be able to, you know, yeah. tell you the artist. You yeah. know, you know I'll, I'll, I'll say Ask this me an artist. I'll be able to name a song. I, I asked uh, my brother to cut my hair about four weeks ago, and when I went over, he had his bathroom set up, and 
he had this music coming out of his speakers that was just I didn't know what it was and when I asked him what it was he, he turned it up a little bit more just kind of I think to annoy me but it was <laughs> it was it was some form of classical it music was it was Beethoven it was very creepy Beethoven. it was yeah, it, it, it just Beethoven. took me by surprise you know and yeah. that just kind of goes to show what what it is all these guys I mean you know I, I don't I, think any of us have the same thing in our CD player right I think now, our musical uh, our musical dynamic is like a big Venn diagram we all have overlapping influences but we all have our own individual influences as well like I think me and him can share that classical influence. Me and him can share the, the hip hop, the West Coast, or the sixties, or, or the sixties classic. Rock. And the train. Or we can fuck this train right now. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> yes. Sample that. <laughs> you can hear that in our next song. Big beat up. Yeah. Big beat up that in about twenty minutes. And that is an influence of nobody. <laughs> oh, we'll use it. We'll use it. <laughs> we'll sample it. <laughs> Have a good night, brother. Drive safe. Bye, Dad. Yeah. But as for the music, everyone listens to a bunch of different stuff, and sometimes I don't understand how we can come together in a group and write some of the stuff we do when, you know, I'm getting out of my car, listening to one thing, Jules is getting out of his car, listening to another, and, and, you know, same with everybody. And I don't know, when we just do a thing, we're just kind of in our zone, and... Yeah, that's just how it goes. I, I don't know how it really works. It's all natural, man. It just flows. It, just it does. It flows it together. Just comes. It does. Well, you guys, getting, like you said, getting out of your car, listening to five or six different things, is what makes you guys you, because you guys bring a hodgepodge of different stuff into the music, so nobody can nail you down and say, hey, that's blah, 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 that's blah, 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 that's blah, blah, blah. You hear the influences in the music, but it's 100%. 100, 100 proof. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, because I know as soon as I put your uh, your demo in my CD, it was like almost an instant connection with. Like, okay, I know this song. It's one of those songs that it's been in my repertoire. It seems it's not. It's not new, foreign. but it's yeah. not foreign. Yeah. And what? And for me. And I mean this as a compliment. When I can hear a song that doesn't sound foreign to me, that sounds like I've heard it before, I, I like that because it's not none. Of, it's not a uh, what is this? How, what you know, what's... For, for a group like us, that that is a big compliment. Uh, you know, we've had this this discussion before that music nowadays is very disposable. You know, you don't buy an album anymore, you buy a single. Right. You know, instead of buying the entire album, you can pick your top three songs that are played on whatever <laughs> radio station you live by to purchase. You know, and, and for us as a band to, to try and create something that, that isn't disposable, that doesn't have a shelf life, you know, I mean, uh, it, it's, it's, it's very hard. It, 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 gets, it, gets, it gets very complicated at times, you know, and one thing we can do as a band is just keep trying to progress keep trying to push forward you know I mean it, you know my brother's always bringing things you know to the table with piano you know uh, Gerald's always bringing things with with you know hip-hop side of things Julian is just I mean he's all over the place you know B-Man is, is there ready to pick up whatever we got going on same with Mike I mean j just the fact that we can try and build something that doesn't have a shelf life to us uh, at least to me is very important you know Music nowadays, it's it. You, you know, you search it, you find it, you download it, and you hear it on shuffle. You know what I mean? When your iPod plays it, that's when you hear it. And to hear someone like you say, "Hey, that's cool," you know, I'm listening to your CD and everything. It means a lot to us. Dude. You know, it, it really does. It really I, does. I appreciate that, but the only reason I listen to it is because it's fucking good. <laughs> I mean, I, I know I've interview, interviewed a lot of bands, and I say this about their albums. And the only reason I interview bands is because I like them. I don't interview bands that I hate, and the CDs that I listen to are only for, for bands that I like. And you guys are definitely, like I said, in my rotation. And uh, one thing I like about you, and this leads me to my third question, is you guys are some of the best promoters of your band that I've known, that you guys have uh, unique ways of promoting your band, and one of them I found out is a I I uh, Android the Android, Android yeah, app that's this guy right here Jay. Android app hundred proof media player make sure you go and get that go yeah. to the Android market download it it's free 
won't cost you anything, and you need that in your life. Also, we have ringtones available. Just text 1PROOF to 69337. Can you repeat that for everyone? 1PROOF to 69337. And your ringtone would be off the hook. <laughs> But my third question with the promotion and all that is, how do people find you? Uh, they already have a loyal following that knows where to follow them. But if somebody like me comes along and wants to discover you, wants to find out uh, where, where do they go and how they find out the, about you guys? The main one is, well, obviously our, our Facebook, which is re real big. You can, under band page, uh, 100 proof, 100 proof. And then we have our... Uh, friend page which is spelled out 100 proof and 100 is one word then we also have a www.strictly100.com that's on our Reverb Nation page and through there you can see uh, all of our shows our updates our our press uh, we'll put our interview on there you can check out our videos uh, listen to our songs and stuff and so it's pretty easy to find us um, the, you know a, a lot of it's through Facebook and stuff but we have things linking back and forth to each other. MySpace, so Twitter. No, MySpace and Twitter. A lot, a lot of it has been through the work of this guy right yeah, here. This I guy mean, does a lot of the it, It's kind of hard to, to you know, do the things that we're doing without a guy that can really connect and start talking to people and make things work. And uh, you know, Famous James has been one of one of the, the strong points of that for us. And that's you really know? all it is. Like you said, just it's just a matter of talking to people. That's that's all we do is just you know we're on a. Networking all the time on the internet and stuff like that's one of the biggest things out there to do to get your uh, music out there You hear it worldwide uh, YouTube, but it's basically just going out to people talking to people telling them about your music and uh, in our hometown uh, Redlands area we uh, connect with some uh, local businesses that promote us and and help us out and stuff like that and so We've had a lot of support from a, a lot of people. Um, it's all about making friends. Yeah, ma making friends, you know, and, and uh, the, the even other local yeah. bands, you know, we're hooking up with uh, you know, we're making friends with them, and then uh, we're gaining fans from their group or their follows, yeah. you know, following. And, and of course, this interview right here, we're gonna definitely blow up after this, probably, huh? Well, <laughs> uh, the interview itself, the band, <laughs> you're gonna blow up. The interviewer, I'm gonna blow up. <laughs> These guys, I want to thank for this interview for saving my ass. That's for sure for being such a great band in a shitty interview. Uh, You're doing great, buddy. You're doing uh, great. Thanks, man. I, I need that. But these guys are some of the brightest, some of the uh, smartest promoters of their shows. Uh, did you guys want to promote any of your... Uh, people that promote you that help you out or well we have um we definitely well, work with a lot of people but besides just all, all the support from our family and stuff like that and our uh, and our friends in our inner circle the hunter proof crew and stuff like that um you know just uh, a lot of people from our hometown uh joey's action wear also known as jaw inc and redlands it's a clothing store we sell a bunch of good clothes in there a lot of people like wearing his stuff um if you ever in redlands go check them out yeah we'll check them out on orange street right there in redlands downtown redlands but joey's action wear has been pretty good with uh having our flyers out putting our posters up we've also had some support from smoker's choice in redlands uh wind jammer um you a know a lot of local radio stations yeah x1039 dirty d dirty d on x103.9 what's up brother that, that, that guy's been uh, playing us on uh extreme x Lacey Candle from KCAL. Yeah. KCAL, yeah. 96.7, yeah. right? KCAL. The list goes on and on and on, but you know, it, it won't stop until we get this thing going the right way. And it takes everything that we're doing right now to make that happen. You know? Well, actually, it won't stop because these guys are going to be around for years and years and years, and the radio stations are going to be in your town. And one thing you should do see this shirt right here? <laughs> Go out, purchase some merchandise, find out, give them a. Uh, Give them a. Uh, yep. Yep. Go to strictly100.com. Check it out. Strictly100.com. You get a Facebook. fucking awesome shirt like that. Yep. And you know what? Those shirts are so uh, so popular. They're sold out. <laughs> but that's not to say you can't get one because they're going to be reprinted, right? Oh yeah, we got no, more coming. We got more coming. Always. 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 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we made the shirts ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> we got a factory in the back right now, yeah. sewing them up as we speak. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we just don't do music. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Making with our feet while we're writing music. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well give our shout out to Guatemala right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sewing these, our shirts. These music. guys on stage, they can knit you up a shirt and sing you a song at yeah. the same time. Do a little, ditty. Do a little, ditty. <laughs> little ditty on stage. That's it, man. Sure. Now, these guys, if you don't know them, like they said, go out to their Facebook, to uh, the Android app, to the Android app, you anywhere you can. Go out, get it, listen to their music, and I'm sure you're going to be calling your local DJ, your local promoter, to get these guys into your town, to get them playing on your radio station. These guys are too big to be in LA, to be in California. They need to come to your town, and you guys will be as amazed as I am that the first time you see them, you're hooked. And you're gonna be uh, a 100 proof addict. <laughs> and uh, you're not gonna be disappointed, and you're not gonna need help for that. <laughs> <laughs> and your head might blow up too when you hear music. <laughs> it's been known to happen. <laughs> we, we have some stuff we're dealing with in core right now. Cause people's heads have blown up. Just we're not, <laughs> right face you, you're not liable, first. <laughs> yeah. no, if not your liable. head blows right. up, uh, we can't help you about that, huh? Well, we, have, we have warnings going down the, on the We'd like demo. to thank you yeah. also for having us, man. Oh, quick questions. Appreciate thank you. Yeah, thank yeah, you for putting up really with the. Uh, thank you for sure, paying up with good. the interviewer, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, we enjoyed it. <laughs> and these guys, like I said, please, please go out and support them. I know I say this about every band that I've interviewed, and the reason I say it is because without your support, they can't make it happen. And these guys are making it happen, and your support only helps. So please support them. Support your lo all local bands. All local every bands, local. dude. Every local artist. These, artist bands, everybody. Yeah. These guys said it. Support your local artists, support your local scene. If you don't have one, call these guys. <laughs> they're come and be your local scene. It might not be from your town, but they're create your scene. And if you're a band, please click these guys to be on your bill. You will walk out with more fans, and these guys will bring you more fans. Or vice versa. Vice versa. Everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Fans everywhere. <laughs> and once again for ENM and 100 Proof, I want to thank you so much for this interview, for watching this interview. Thank you guys so much for paying up with the interviewer. Oh, for sure, brother. Anytime. Oh, when it's the not fault you're a Steelers fan. <laughs> oh yeah, thank you for reminding me. I was going to sign off right there, but since uh, he, since Eric brought it up. Uh, bonus question time. Football season. Your teams and what you think they're going to do. Chargers are looking hot right now. Chargers man. fan. They're, they're looking a lot better than uh, Big Ben the Rapist and you know, whatever, whatever, cocktail waitress, whatever cocktail waitress he's trying to sneak off on his motorcycle. So yeah, it looks yeah. like we're looking all right, you know. Hey, it ain't rape if you don't get convicted. <laughs> you know, uh, everyone in the band, they're all football fans, dude. I mean, these two cats right here are Steeler fans, unfortunately. Steeler you know, he's fans, a big I fish fan. He's, he's a Dolphin fan, you know. We'll at least make it to the playoffs. That's right. Well, one thing we can all agree on is AFC. Oh. We're champs. Yeah, hey. <laughs> and there's more than just Ben on our team. Yeah, Should Heinz Ward. You know, I mean, I heard, I heard Heinz Ward just got an endorsement for a fucking walker. No. And it's gorgeous. I heard it's, it's the top of the line. I heard it's top of the fucking line. You know what? That walker <laughs> catches a lot, though. <laughs> hey, it hasn't been the past couple of weeks. <laughs> And so does Ben, dude. He catches a lot of court cases. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you know? Can't argue with the truth. Oh, he's turning on him. He's turning. He's turning. See, see how fast we worked on you? <laughs> I, I already see the, the, the Steelers side turn into a bolt. <laughs> it might be blue and yellow. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, but the thing is, though... Uh, how many Super Bowls uh, should we bring that in? I was going to say it's Ryan Leaf. 
That's all I gotta say. Oh man, you gotta bring back choices. For what are you talking about, what man? What are you talking? Don't talk to me. That's oh wait, that, <laughs> that's that's cool. Cool. sorry, that was a bad Ryan Leaf hey, impression. Any choice, <laughs> any choice in San Diego, and any that choice was. in San Diego. Were you the guy interviewing yeah. Ryan Leaf when he blew up? <laughs> no, that guy actually asked one question. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad you guys didn't go Ryan Leaf on me. <laughs> <laughs> we, we almost did at the beginning of this interview. Uh, well, they're not going to see that. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you guys saw the interviews before we actually got this interview started, oh, my God. This, oh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go look for a dark, dark hollow right now and go, go hide in it. We've been out here for like an hour and a half freezing our asses off. Trying to get this interview right. Yeah. <laughs> three questions. Thermal. Thermal. Hey. I, I said three questions. I didn't say that each one took an hour. <laughs> you sure it's not three long questions or what? <laughs> I know. I need to change this to just three yeah, questions. Next season. Yeah, next season. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. Three long hours with Ian. <laughs> the one thing is, you guys will remember this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You guys always, will, buddy. Always. It's one for the books, brother. You'd uh, be like that E and M guy. Oh my God. <laughs> oh shit, he's in the audience again. Oh. Hey, they ignore that guy. Hey, look the other way. Look the other way. Keep walking. Keep walking. He's like, hey, can I get in there? <laughs> <laughs> but on that note, I want to thank you guys. And remember, the band is 100 proof. You guys. Go out, call your local radio stations. Even if they don't have the song yet, when you put the song and the thought in their heads, they're gonna contact these guys and say, get us a disc, we need to play it. So please, call. And come out. No better way to show your support than to be in the live audience with them. You might even get to see me. We play a lot of free shows. <laughs> yeah, push that across the nation. A lot of free shows, I mean, Nothing better than free, right? Just love to get the music out there, Gene. But if you do see them for, th for free, one thing I suggest is pick up a shirt, pick up anything that they're selling, support them, make sure they can drive home. Because <laughs> it's we always great guys. when the yeah. band can yeah. drive to and from the venue. He's driving Eno. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you can also pick up our tab at the bar, too, when we're done drinking. <laughs> Most important, come support these guys and pick up the bar, bar tab. <laughs> Exactly. But since it, <laughs> since I'm here, I'm splitting. <laughs> All right, man. But once again, for three quick questions and 100 proof, the greatest. Okay, I I, I don't want to dis I don't want to piss off any other band, but the greatest band in the IE, one of the greatest bands in Los Angeles, and they are the reason why the music scene right now is on top and why there is a music scene. And bands like 100 Proof, and I'm gonna say their name over and over, 100 Proof, 100 Proof, remember that name. Come out, support them, buy a shirt, find their CD, call the DJ, do whatever you need to do because these guys are gonna be huge and you're gonna wanna say you were there when it all began. And if you weren't there when it all began, you're gonna be wanna be there for sure. So for a rambling, E and M, 100 <laughs> proof. We are out. Flows like a giant, the music's defiant, the group is compliant to your ears. Baby, baby, it's our year. Hundred proof from the tear, no fears. I ain't saying we the ones, we just proving it for life. Other rappers ain't as do it, screw it, they don't do it right. What's left is